Hello everyone and welcome back to Anytan. Today we will take a look at a workflow that syncs data between Asana and Notion. This workflow has already been created and I will attach a link to this workflow in the description down below. So let's take a look at the workflow and see how it works. In the description here we can see that the workflow syncs data between Notion and Asana whenever a new task or an update is done in one of the apps. To use this workflow, we need an Asana account and a Notion account. I have both of these accounts, so I'll just go ahead and use the workflow. Then I'll paste the workflow in my canvas. Let's just shift this a bit to the left. And the first thing you might see are these warning signs in the Asana and in the Notion nodes. This is due to the credentials not being selected. So one of the first things you have to do once you paste this workflow in your canvas is to change the credentials. So I'll go ahead and use my credentials. And then following up the credentials, you also need to change this resource ID right here. So where do you get this resource ID? In your Asana account, you go to your tasks and this number right here is the ID. You can see in my case, it starts with 120 and ends with 680 and it's the same in the node in NA10 as well. The next step is to go out and as you can see, the other Asana node has already updated the credentials according to the first one. So we don't have to do that manually. Now we go to the Notion node and we update our credentials here as well. Once you update the credentials in Notion, then you select your database name or ID that you have set in Notion. The next step is to execute the workflow. You can see the same behavior happened with the other Notion nodes as well. They already have updated their credentials according to the first node we updated credentials. So let's go ahead and execute the workflow. And now the workflow will enter this listening state because we are using an Asana trigger node as our first node. So the idea was whenever we create a task or update one, this workflow will trigger and update or create that task in our Notion account. So let's go ahead and create a task in Asana. So here I'll click on this plus button here and select task. So let's say testing task. And I'll add a due date. So for Monday, the 5th. So we create the task. We see here in our recently assigned, we have created the task. So we select this task and we can see that the name is testing test. The assignee is Mary and the due date is Monday. So we close this and we go back to our NA10 instance and we can see that the workflow is executing and it has executed successfully. So the next step is to go to Notion and see the new task. So if we open our Notion one, we can see testing task and we can see the due date and everything, the Asana GID as well. So now what we want to do is we want to just update a task. We created a task and that worked. But what if I don't want to create a task? I want to update a existing one. So let's go ahead and change this tasks. First, we need to execute the workflow first. So now we want to just change the due date. So from Monday, let's say Friday, let's give this a bit more time. So we close this, we change that, we go back to our NA10 instance, we we'll wait just a bit for the webhook, this should happen very shortly. And we can see the workflow executing and then we go to our Asana tasks and we can see the new due date. Now it's September 9, which is a Friday. The next step after finishing these is to save the workflow and activate the workflow. Why? Because this workflow, we press here, got it. This workflow will now be running in the background and we don't need to hit this execute button workflow every time we want to execute the workflow. This workflow will be in the background and will be running all the time. So whenever we add new tasks or update tasks, NA10 will automatically update them in Notion as well. That's it for this workflow. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. If you want to learn more about how to automate workflows, subscribe to our channel and for more videos like this, click on the watch more button.